Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. Hope you guys are staying safe. Hope everything's good wherever you are. Um, guys, I want to get straight into this. Um, smash the like button, of course. As you guys know, it helps my channel. Really smash the like button. We've had a goal of 50, over 50 likes per video. So really smash the like button on this video. Really help. Ryan Garcia has come out and said, I need Javante Davis for a mega fight. I don't have ego to admit that. So Ryan Garcia goes on to say, I want Tank next. A huge pay-per-view fight would involve me and somebody else. And I probably do need a little bit of Tank Davis to make a super mega fight. But I don't have an ego to admit that. I don't care. I know Tank is a big fighter and I am as well. Whoever wins that fight becomes the face of boxing. Um, he then goes on to say, David said, F me. Then why are you screaming my name talking about you next after the Romero fight? Why should I shut up? He's, he's the one talking like that. Now it's like either you want to do it or, or do you not want to do it? Don't tell me you want to fight. You're really not going to be about it. He can say shut up all he wants. He wants that fight. Where where there's a way, where where there is a will, there's a way. Think of every possibility and just don't be greedy. And I'm sure both parties can come up with an agreement that is fair and firm and honourable at the same time. You just have to look at, at it in all those aspects. Look at the data to prove your points and then, move, and then you move forward. You have to look at who is the bigger draw and why and then show the data for it. Numbers don't lie. There are a lot of people saying this guy is bigger than that guy. But all, all you have to do is look at the data and you can go from there. If they can't look at the reality of it, that's not my problem. I'm pretty sure I want to fight bigger and better fighters in Javante Davis. I'm not worried about Jojo Diaz, said Garcia. Okay. So Ryan Garcia, you know, as you can see, has made his point that he wants to fight Javante Davis and he needs a mega fight. And he doesn't he doesn't mind admitting the fact that he does need Javante Davis in order to have a mega fight. Um, what's my take on it? Uh, Ryan Garcia has done a lot of talking. Uh, of late, you know, and and let's be honest, he's overlooking Javier Fortuna. Javier Fortuna is a very dangerous fight for him, and I wouldn't be surprised if Javier Fortuna even turn, you know, could possibly turn him over. So uh, he's got to be very careful, and he's got to focus on the prize and not get carried away with uh, Javante Davis because Javante Davis uh, is not his next fight. His next fight is Javier Fortuna, and someone like Ryan Garcia needs to keep his eye on the prize because. Ryan Garcia isn't as great as what he thinks he is. Ryan Garcia needs guidance. Ryan Garcia is somebody, in my opinion, um, that needs... He, he needs to be guided right, in my, in, my, in my opinion. I feel like Oscar De La Hoya is guiding him right. I think Oscar De La Hoya is putting him, putting him in fights, which I think are best for him at this stage, in the sense that, uh, obviously, the, the public, the paying public are pretty desperate to see Ryan Garcia in a big fight but I don't think Ryan Garcia with all that he's had through the mental health issues that he's had uh, through the inactivity through his career I think uh, a fight with Javier Fortuna which I don't think is an easy fight I think it's a very tough fight I think it's the right move uh, unfortunately for Garcia uh, he's done a lot of talking he's upset a lot of people of late um, and he now needs to back up his boast uh, and he he's basically, I think, knows that the fight after Javier Fortuna has to be a big fight. And he, I think they're looking to roll the dice, maybe De La Hoya and uh, Ryan Garcia in looking to fight Javante Davis. Because I think they know that every fight he takes is a big fight after that. And every fight is a dangerous fight. So why not look for the biggest money fight? There's a reason why Javante Davis is chasing the Ryan Garcia fight. He Firstly, they, uh, Elena Delaby, Javante Davis, they look at it as a fight that they'll win. And it's also probably the biggest money fight that can be made just because of the history between Ryan and Javante. Uh, they have a bit of history. They're both kind of big stars on social media. Out of all the bunch, 
you know, the Shakur Stevensons, the Teofimo Lopez's, the Devin Haney's, they might not be the best out of the bunch. You know, Javante is probably in, in my opinion, you know, could be the best, but, you know, I wouldn't say he is. Um, but they're definitely the most popular. And when you're putting the two most popular, when they're undefeated, when they're still fairly re or they're relevant in world boxing at the top, um, they can make a lot of money and the fight can be promoted into a huge fight. So I can understand why. I can understand why they're looking to make this um, fight. I think it. I think it benefits both parties. I think it makes sense. Um, I like to see the fight next after you know Garcia gets through Javier Fortuna. But I will say this: at the stage at where Garcia is in his career, I wouldn't be for hundred percent for sure that he beats. He beats. Uh, he beats uh, Fortuna. You know, that's a tough fight. Fortuna's a really good fighter. So I'm looking forward to that. I am looking forward to it. Let's see how Ryan gets on. Um, I think I think Ryan should get the job done against Fortuna. Um, I think, you know, he should win. And then, obviously, if he does get through it, then we obviously set up for a massive fight between uh, him and Javante, which I think will probably happen. I think out of all the big major fights that we want to see, I think this will probably happen because I think both guys need it. And I think Ryan Garcia understands he needs Javante, and Javante probably would want it as well. Um, I think Javante Davis is at the stage of his career where he needs the big fights as well. You know, I think uh, the public aren't going to be interested in any of the other fights that he's having. He needs a big name. He needs somebody relevant. Um, and Javante Davis, he just recently fought against Romero. We don't want another opponent like that. We want somebody that's elite or considered elite or that's a top fighter. Ryan Garcia, although, you know, you can question whether people think he's a top fighter, um, he's definitely, for me, a step above Rolly Romero. And for me, he's, all, he's a much bigger name than Romero and I, I think he's a much tougher fight than Rolly Romero. I think Garcia is technically a lot more sound than Romero. I think Garcia is also very fast. He can punch. Uh, you know, not to say Romero could punch. I just think te uh, technically Romero wasn't very good. I think Garcia technically is much better. I think he's more athletically gifted than Romero. So I think this is a much tougher fight for um, you know, a much tougher fight for Javante Davis. Having said that, you guys know who I'm picking to win that fight. I'm picking Javante. Um, I think Javante is uh, a much more well-rounded, seasoned, makes, he's more mature, um, and I think he's more experienced um, than Ryan Garcia. So I would have to pick and side with Ryan, I mean, Javante to knock Ryan out. But Ryan is very dangerous and live in that fight. Uh, hence why I think Ryan is willing to roll the dice. I, I actually think, I actually like the matchup between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. I really like that matchup. I actually think Ryan Garcia stylistically has a much better chance of beating Devin Haney just because I think Ryan Garcia is long, he's fast, he's got he got good punch power. It'll be a lot harder for Ryan, uh, Devin Haney to outbox Ryan Garcia. It's not. It won't be that easy because Ryan's very long and he's tall, he's fast, he can punch. That would be, and you know, we saw someone like Nanares at the end of his career give um Haney a lot of trouble I actually like that fight for Ryan I think styles make fights whereas I think Javante Davis would probably clean out Ryan Garcia I think Ryan Garcia gives Devin Haney a much tougher fight a much harder fight you know styles make fights in this game you know styles make fights and certain styles I think stylistically and also not just that Devin Haney is not really a big puncher so Ryan Garcia's defensive flaws aren't going to be exposed as much you know at, at worst he'll be outboxed but stylistically, I do like that matchup. And that's why I was shocked when Ryan Garcia kind of avoided the Haney fight when he was clear mandatory for him. Why didn't they, why didn't they fight? Because they wanted that fight. Eddie Hearn and uh, Ryan Garcia, I mean, uh, Devin Haney wanted that fight. But Ryan wasn't interested because Devin didn't have the popularity. Devin didn't have the name. Now he's undisputed. It's a different ball game. But Devin didn't have that star power. So Devin was looking to fight one of these guys and beat one of these guys so he could get that popularity, get that star power that Ryan Garcia had. Um, now that Devin's got it, I think he definitely, I think Ryan Garcia, Javante Davis should definitely now consider to fight him because he's got all the belts. He's the man in the division. You've got to really beat him to be considered the number one now because he's got all the belts. He's the undisputed lightweight champion. Um, 
And, you know, some may say that he's not even the best in the division. Some may say Lomachenko is the best in the division. Some may say Tank is the best in the division. But, again, we have to get all of these guys to fight each other, right? Because a lot of people think of Ryan Garcia as an Instagram boxer. They don't even think of him as a real um, boxer at this point. So, Javante Davis, I mean, Ryan Garcia is going to have to change people's opinion about him. Can he do it? Can he do it? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. We have to wait and see. Um, but I do rate. I do rate him. I do rate Ryan Garcia. I do think he has talent. I do think he has ability. I just think that he needs to now. He's at a stage in his career where he needs to prove it and prove to the world that he can fight um, against the, the the elite. Uh, because that's what we haven't seen. The problem is with a lot of American fighters nowadays. We aren't getting to see them against the elite. Jamal Charlo, Demetrius Andrade, you know, <laughs> Caleb Plant for Canelo, but David Benavidez, Ryan Garcia, Javante Davis. Um, we're not seeing them against the elite. So we're kind of getting frustrated because we don't know how good these guys are. They might be really good, but we just don't know because they're not really fighting each other. And until they fight each other, we're not really going to find out how good they really are. So they need to really fight each other for us to you know, judge how good they are or whether they're, they're overrated or they're, they, they, we just need to see them fight. Um, and we need to see them fight each other because they're the elite guys fighting each other. Would they're, they're Basically, the fights that we want to see are amongst the elite. So Ryan Garcia, Javante Davis, Devin Haney v. Javante Davis, Devin Haney v. Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney v. Shakur, Shakur v. Ryan. These are all good fights. Stylistically good matchups. And these are fights that we all would like to see. So, Let's make it happen. You know, these are fights that everybody would like to see. So hey, they need to make these fights. They need to make it happen. And hopefully they can make it happen. Uh, you know, the, the, it would be interesting to see. Um, so, yeah, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Um, do you think Ryan Garcia needs Javante Davis? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.